What's up guys, I'm LQ, this is the LQ Review, thank you so much for joining me right here at my YouTube channel. This is where we talk about all the geeky, nerdy stuff that we love to talk about. Movies, video games, comic books, and TV shows, and right now I'd like to give you guys my review of the new movie, Paradise Cove. And Paradise Cove is a new thriller. It is, I don't know if I'd call it a home invasion movie, but it's in that vein of thriller, like the home invasion type genre. So this movie involves um, a deranged homeless woman who terrorizes a man and his wife after they move into a beach house in Malibu for the purposes of renovating it and selling it. That's really what this movie is about. A homeless, homeless woman who terrorizes this family, terrorizes this family. It gets to some pretty horrific moments. Um... Todd Grimmel plays Knox Bennett, and, you know, he's, he, it's a good performance, real good performance by Todd, uh, Todd Grimmel, but the, here's the thing, our, our main protagonist of the movie, this is the guy who, who, he inherited this house from his mom, who, who, who recently passed away, and he wants to renovate it, so he can flip it and sell it. In fact, that's what he does for a living, is he flips houses. And this is like this is like his cash cow, right? A beach house in Malibu, yeah, I'm going to flip it and get $6 million for this. So that's his goal, is to flip it and make a big profit off it. But as he's living in the house, he's living there with his wife while he's renovating it. As he's working on this house, he is learning that, you know what? My mom might not have been the most up and up person in the world. She might have basically stolen this house out from underneath somebody else. Who is that somebody else? Well, that somebody else is the homeless lady who's living who's uh, living on my property and refuses to leave. <laughs> so, um, so he, he gives a pretty good performance. But here's the problem: he's not a very likable guy. He's not a very likable guy. He makes a lot of bad decisions throughout the course of the movie. Some of them are very suspect decisions as far as his his morality is concerned as a person. One of them, <laughs> one of the decisions he makes is attempted murder. <laughs> Not the most likable guy, and he's your protagonist. That creates problems for the movie. Alright. Um, but his wife, played by Mina Suva uh, Savari from American Pie, uh, The Rage Carry 2. Anybody remember that movie, The Rage Carry 2? She wasn't in that movie long. <laughs> um, yeah, Mina Savari ob has obviously been in a lot of stuff. But she plays in this, and uh, she's kind of the straight person. She's the person we're supposed to be rooting for, is uh, Knox's wife, Tracy. And um, even, her, even her, though, it's like, why are you sticking around? Why are you sticking around? Your husband is clearly making bad decisions. There's a door. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, she's definitely the straight player. And Mina Savari does a great job. Mina Savari's been good in everything she's ever been in. Amer American Beauty, that was another good one. Yeah, she's been good in everything she's ever been in. I don't know if it's good anymore, right? Kevin Spacey, I don't know if it's It was good. Now, now I don't know if it is. Now I really don't know if it is based... Wow, that just hit me just now. I really don't know. <laughs> Knowing the type of person that Kevin Spacey played in American Beauty might have been a little too on the nose. All right, let's move on. Uh, Kristen Bauer, uh, Kristen Bauer von Stratton plays Bree. She's the homeless woman living under the house. And here's the thing: she does not play terrifying psychopath very well. She wasn't always, she wasn't supposed to be terrifying. She was supposed to be, to some level, this approachable person, this good looking person. I mean, that's, they even talk about it. They're like, haven't you ever, have you even noticed that underneath the dirt and the righty clothes and there's a good looking person there? And uh, so, I mean, they, that's something that they play on is that, that, that this is a, you know, a, a good looking person. But, um, she's not really terrifying until we get towards the end. And then you see this, um, kind of cold, heartless demeanor come out. And sometimes that's more terrifying than a passionate, motivated, I'm going to scream while I'm gutting you thing. Um, this was a little more cold, a little more calculated, uh, and, and it, it was effective enough. The film, you know, the film was oddly entertaining. <laughs> so far, this review has not sounded great, but the film was oddly entertaining. I, 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 I was, I was a hundred percent into it while we were, while I was watching it. A hundred percent. Um, that's not to say the film's not contrived. <laughs> it's not to say that the film does not have its problems. All right. Um, like, I'm sorry. 
I got somebody living under my house. I don't care <laughs> what claim she has to the house. I got the house. It's mine. Someone's living on my house. I don't want them there. They're going. They're going to go. <laughs> if the police don't do anything about it, they're still going to go. And that leads to some of the problems in this movie. It, 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 like I said, it became very contrived. There was always a reason why she didn't have to leave the house. There was always this kind of plot armor that was built up around this homeless woman that was living on somebody else's property. So there's always, like, incompetent police officers who, like, well, I mean, I guess you can put up no trespassing signs. Come on. Come on. <laughs> um... Like I said, it was oddly entertaining, but it was very contrived. Uh, for most of the movie, Brie is not very threatening. Uh, they do actually have her kill somebody early in the movie, but it was very out of place with the tone of the movie at the time. The to I mean, we were very much in like the slowly building suspense phase of the movie. And, you know, the idea of her being this legitimate threat had not really entered our heads yet. I mean, we we know what type of movie this is. We know that she's going to become one as the movie progresses. But it, it felt a little jarring to have her kill somebody that early in the movie and then have a lot of the movie go without anything like that happening for a while. Um, so like I said, it was oddly out of place. Uh, but like I said, like I said, the movie was still oddly entertaining. <laughs> um, there's this weird... There's these weird sexual assault scenes that happen in the movie where Brie sexually assaults Knox. So it's the it's the homeless woman sexually assaulting the male homeowner. And like I said, it's kind of odd the way that they put these scenes in there. Like there's one where she's showering. Now there's no nudity in this. Um, maybe I, I mean there's bare back there's bare backs, but you know no real nudity to speak of. But there's this odd scene where she's showering outside and I mean, she's in the nude and she's, you know, being trying to be seductive and she's right there standing right in front of him and he's pretending to ignore her. Um, I don't know if I'd call that sexual assault, but I mean, maybe, yeah, maybe. Right. Right. If it was a dude doing that to a girl, that's sexual assault. So yeah, I would call this sexual assault, but it really got to sexual assault. Um, it really got to a sexual assault place when she like uh, he's showering inside his house and she was not invited into the house and uh, and she gets into the shower with him and um, yeah def it def definitely entered sexual assault territory there so there are these odd sexual assault moments that again um, never really entered the territory of her being of her threatening his life but definitely threatening. And as the movie progressed, that threat progressed as well. Again, these are the worst police officers in the world, all the way down to <laughs> them trying to connect Knox to a murder late in the movie that was committed by Bree. And just this complete ineptitude <laughs> that, that took place when they were trying to connect, connect him to this murder. But again, this movie was oddly entertaining. I was into it. Um, I can't say it was very good, but it also wasn't bad. I was I was entertained by it. this. Is a B minus. I give this movie a B minus. Uh, it had good stuff in it. I was I was, you know, in the vein of a home invasion movie. This was thrilling enough, and uh, the the performances were all good enough. I just there was a lot of weird questionable decisions that was made in this movie that kind of brought down its score for me. So I give Paradise Cove a B minus. That being said, have you seen Paradise Cove? What did you think of it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to have a conversation about it. While you're down there, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I put out a lot of content and I want to make sure you're up to date with everything that I'm doing. And as always, I thank you so much for joining me right here at the LQ Review where we get to talk about all the geeky nerdy stuff that we love to talk about and until next time we'll see you guys later